Buddhist for love. Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm actually filming my what I got for Christmas 2022 haul. So obviously this is a little late than most Christmas haul videos go up. It's about early January probably when I'm posting this because I've actually been going through it recently and wasn't able to film the haul um, when I wanted to which would have been probably um, the day of Christmas or the next day. Shout out to me because I actually had to have emergency appendix removal surgery and I'm still recovering but I'm a lot better now and I just want to do film this video because I honestly love watching these videos. I have actually filmed like two previous Christmas haul videos before but they're not good at all. Would not recommend watching those. I'm really grateful for everything I got and I love watching these videos. So happy new year and let's go ahead and get on into the video. Also, I wanted to mention that my friends did get me Christmas gifts this year. Um, I have friends at college and we all did a little gift exchange and I love all my gifts I got from them. Me and Lakin did a gift exchange um, together and everything and I'm just not going to show those gifts just because I'm trying to cut down time on this video. I really just want to focus on like mainly what I got on Christmas but I really am appreciative of everything I got from my friends this year. So on Christmas Eve um, my family goes over to my Nana and Papa's house on my mom's side and we do um, our little like gift exchange and stuff. I got this green and navy plaid scarf and it is actually from Old Navy and it's really soft and I've been wanting kind of more like winter gear. Kind of going along with that I got this jacket from Target and this honestly it just reminds me of like a Carhartt jacket. I think it's so adorable and I almost got this like multiple times for myself like beforehand. It is from the brand Wild Fable from Target so I probably should have done this after the scarf but also from Old Navy I just got these crew socks and I thought these would be really good to wear with my Doc Martens because you gotta wear thick socks with your dogs if you don't know. And I only have like one or two good pairs that I can wear with them. So I thought those would be, these would be nice. And they're very soft. And they don't look like they're going to like shed, which is really nice. Next from my grandparents, I got this. I honestly cannot pronounce the name of the brand. Um, obviously, there's a specific way, but I just can't remember and can't pronounce it. But it's this wallet or like this little card holder. And honestly... I'm so excited about this. I've had a thread wallet, I think, for the past like two years, which I love. Like, I love it so much. It's so compact. The only thing about this wallet, though, is it doesn't really hold um, like change, really. Like, the only part you could put change in is this little zipper area, and that is not enough for me. I always try to pay with like exact change at places. I'm really happy about this. I think it's so cute and I love the color. One of my favorite hobbies um, is crocheting. So I got some yarn. I just got two balls of yarn. Um, one is in this like teal gray color and then one is in this dark gray color and I'm not super picky about like the brands of yarn. Also in terms of crochet I got this 4.25 millimeter crochet hook and these hooks are super nice because they have this handle. I also got some stitch markers, which is really important if you do crochet. It's kind of how you keep up with what like round you're on. And then I also got these like uh, crochet needles, which you use to like weave the ends in in your projects. All right, and the rest of the items from my Nana and Papa are all like beauty related. I took them out of the package, but it's just these like colorful clips that um, you use to like put your hair back when you're doing your makeup and stuff. Next I got these um, like facial like acne patches from the Cram Shop and basically these are like the holiday edition like there's a bunch of like Christmas trees. Next I got the got to be glued um, like styling gel but I use this like for my eyebrows when I do my makeup. Next, I got the Essence Hello Good Stuff Glow Serum Primer and it is like the hydrating watermelon like primer. I've never used this before. I think it's a dupe to a really popular primer. Then I got the NYX Bear With Me um, Concealer Serum and I actually um, heard a lot about this because I got this for Bailey for her birthday this year and she tried it and I was like, 
Another concealer I got is the Rim Beauty Pot Concealer in the shade Fair 9N. I actually used this today. I already took the packaging off of this, but I got the e.l.f. like liquid eyeshadow. Um, and this is in the shade Disco Queen. I'm actually wearing it on my eyelid today. It's just kind of like a glittery um, silver like uh, holographic liquid eyeshadow. And these are so easy to just like apply on the lid and you're done. I got the e.l.f. No Budge Cream Eyeshadow in this color. Once again, I already took the packaging off in shade Ombre. Also took the packaging off of this already, but I just got an e.l.f. Beauty Blender. I've normally only used the actual Beauty Blender brand or the Shop Miss A one. So I've never tried this one before, but Bailey also uses this one and she recommended it. I think this is the last makeup item from my grandparents, but I just got the Morphe Non-T Neutral Territory Eyeshadow Palette. And it's literally just a bunch of basics. Then I got this Gingham uh, Foaming Sugar Body Scrub from Bath & Body Works. And Gingham has become one of my like new favorite scents, like just in general, like not even from Bath & Body Works. And I've never tried their like body scrub. This I am so stoked about. It's the Frenchie Balance and Harmony Bergamot Cedar Glow On Perfume Oil. And I heard about Frenchie from Bailey, like she wanted one of um, the perfumes for her birthday, which is Ashley Tisdale's brand and I love her. And she got me to like smell um, all of the like scents in her line and everything or her uh, from her brand. And I fell in love with this scent. Like it just smells so good. And I'm glad I got this when I did. I got it in store. And every time I went back after that to try to get anything else from the collection, like the spray, I've been wanting the spray. Every time I go, it's all sold out. And then I also took this out of the package, but I have not used it yet. It's just a microfiber hair towel and it's supposed to be good like when you get out of the shower, use it on your hair and it won't make your hair as frizzy. So all right, now I'm going to move on to what I got on Christmas Day from my parents and also Bailey, but that's going to be like separate. We actually do stockings last and then our main presents, but I think in these videos people like to do stockings first, so I'm going to do that. You'll notice a few of these items are from Disney World because my parents actually went, I think they went in like October of this year and they got us a few items there because we didn't go with them and we also love Disney. So I got a few items from Disney. First is this Judy Hopps Nuemo. Then I got a Emile Wishable, which I'm obsessed with the movie Ratatouille. If you didn't know anything Ratatouille, I love. Next in my stocking, my mom and dad picked out um, a few shirts for me. I've been obsessed with this design. I've seen this before on um, like I Harry Potter like items like tote bags and stuff before but I think this is so cute I love how it's on like a light gray background and I just think the colors are beautiful next shirt I was not expecting but I'm honestly so like in love with it it is the Batman shirt and this is obviously from Robert Pattinson's Batman movie and I just love this so so much getting down to the last of my stocking so the next thing is this febreze um like small spaces um air freshener it's hawaiian aloha scent so also in my stocking i got this little mini vaseline jar and these two cetaphil little moisturizers and the rest is candy got a bag of hershey kisses and these are the sugar cookie flavor got two squares of ghirardelli chocolate two bags of fun dip in the cherry flavor and then two nerds ropes so starting off with the actual big presents that i got from my mom and dad i got a new pair of crocs and i am obsessed with crocs i have a gray pair that i wear like all the time and they're really beaten down i've worn them to multiple theme parks and there's like no traction on the bottom and they're just very beat up so i got a new pair and these are just the regular classic Crocs and it's the shade Celery, I believe. And I've had these gibbets for a while. I just haven't 
put them on my Crocs. I actually got these from Amazon. They are just the like facial globes that people mainly use in like ASMR videos, but you basically just put them in the freezer and then you can like ice roll your face. Um, I was gonna get like an actual ice roller and then I thought about maybe doing another ASMR video soon and I could use these, so maybe look out for that. Also from Amazon, I got a new book light, which I've needed. The one I've always had is from like the dollar section at Target and it just had like a little watch battery in it and it wasn't rechargeable and it just died um, kind of recently. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna upgrade and get a really high quality light that is rechargeable. So I love it. It actually has like multiple brightness settings and like um, it can do warm or cool tone and has a magnetic clip. It's just so much nicer. I got this game which is called Stir the Pot. Basically it's just a card game where you just roast each other. Like that's literally what the game is. Um, you just kind of like pull a card and then you have to point to whoever's most likely to do what's on the card. A few people I know like from college have this game and they say it's really really fun so I'm actually really excited to play this. I got this phone case from Amazon. It's kind of like a sage green like silicone case and I normally have like a wildflower case on my phone but the one I have was just dirty and I just wanted to get something a little more comfortable to like hold even though they are cute I just wanted like a different one so for my mom and dad I got a quart of silver flames by Sarah J Mass and I did read um, the Akatar series this year I just finished it actually this is like the last um, book that's out right now in the series and I've heard I've heard good things, so I'm excited. This is probably the book I'm gonna read next. I also got a $40 Chipotle gift card, which I love Chipotle, so I'm so excited about this. A $25 AMC gift card. This is the movie th theater I always go to if it's not like a local um, one. And I actually asked for, I think like 30, so they just threw in a $5 bill with that. And I also got a $10 Dunkin' Donuts gift card. I also received the Glossier U Perfume which if you know, you know, this is like the best perfume I've ever smelled. It's just got like a, like, I don't even know how to describe it. It stays on your clothes so long. Um, when you just walk into a room, like this is one of those perfumes where like people can smell the perfume you're wearing and it just smells so good. So the next few gifts are from Disney World. Um, like I said, when my parents went, they got me some merch items that I've been wanting for a while. The first one being this ride car from Remy's Ratatouille Adventure, one of the newest rides at Disney World, which I got to ride um, in December of like last year. And obviously I loved it. I love this movie, like I've said before. You turn it on and it moves like it does on the ride, like it's trackless, like the ride is, and it kind of moves like that and it plays the theme music. It's really cool. They actually got this from the outlet mall. Um, they do like a little Disney character warehouse. I've done videos about it before where you can get like discounted Disney merch. So they got me this stitch planter um, from the outlet and it's like from like a summer collection I think. In here is a bunch of Japanese candy from the World Showcase in Japan um, that they got me and Bailey and we just split it. There's like lychee candy, matcha candy, coffee candy like there's just a bunch of um, mixed candy like that in here so next up are these Indiana Jones magnets and they're just like movie posters. I love these. I'm obsessed. I think they're really cool. And then I think the last item is this calendar and it's from the 50th anniversary and it's actually 2022 but I really don't care because what's cool about these posts or these calendars each month has a poster. It's what each one looks like and it's really cool because since it's from the anniversary it's all like vintage posters and I got one in like 2017 from the outlet mall and I that was my favorite thing like I've ever bought from Disney I think and I just love having this so. So I think the last thing I got from my parents is this milk makeup starter kit and I am probably most excited out of all the makeup I got about this because because it's honestly just such a good deal. I got the Hydro Grip setting spray 
which I haven't tried, as well as the Hydro Grip Primer, which I have tried before and I really love. So it came with a cream bronzer and a mascara. This is the Rise Mascara. So the last group of items I'm going to show is everything I got from my sister Bailey and she always gives me like the best gifts. The first thing is this Collusion Beanie which this is like a brand that's sold I think on ASOS mainly and I love this brand and it's just kind of like a charcoal gray really soft beanie. Next she got me two Squishmallows which I love. I collect Squishmallows. I've been more like selective with the ones I've been getting recently just because I don't have a lot of room. These are two seasonal ones which are really fun. I love putting out like the different ones with each holiday. So the first one she got me is this little black cat in like a pumpkin costume and its name is Calio. The next one she got me is this Christmas tree. So this one's called Lima. So the first book that Bailey got me is actually this really short little book that I didn't even know existed. And it's called Galatea, a short story. And it's by Madeline Miller, who wrote The Song of Achilles. One of my favorite books I've ever read. And I've never, like, I didn't even know this book existed. And I'm really excited to read it. Um, I think it'll be really good, so. It's also just really pretty. The next book is Legends and Lattes by Travis Baldry. So just love the cover, but I'm really excited to read this. I don't know like a whole, whole lot about it, but I have seen this cover like everywhere on Goodreads and a few times on TikTok, so. Next, I got Carrie Soto is Back by Taylor Jenkins Reid. And this is like her newest book, I believe. I kind of like, forgot that this came out and I wanted to read it for so long and I was kind of hoping that she would have gotten me this. Then I got Death in Her Hands by Otessa Moshfe and I am so excited to read this honestly because I read one of, or probably her most, her most popular book which is My Year of Rest and Relaxation and I feel like I rated it kind of low for what, when I read it and I do like her writing style so I'm actually interested to see if I like this or not. It's kind of like a thriller, a mystery too, and I'm really excited to read this. I actually teared up when I opened this. Like I mentioned before, The Song of Achilles is one of my favorite books I've ever read. So she got me like the special edition and it's just beautiful. The edges are sprayed blue and just the cover is just gorgeous and it's the hardback obviously and um i just love it so much like i words cannot describe another one of my hobbies that i kind of recently picked up this year is legos and building legos um when me and bailey went to disney over the summer we went to the lego store at disney springs and it kind of all tumbled on from there and I became obsessed with Legos. So the first one she got me is this little like mini pack um, and it's just this little dude from Star Wars. <laughs> I don't know the actual name. We're, we're trying to figure it out. And then the same kind of pack is the Batmobile and I'm really excited about this. I've seen this at Target a few times and I've just never bought it so really excited to build this. And she also got me this really cool like case that you can put like your spare Legos in and you can actually like obviously build on the outside of it because it's like the Lego platform. It just opens and it has like four compartments in it and you can just store your spare Legos. So I thought that was really, really cool. Then the main Lego item she got me is the Lego succulents, which I've wanted for so long. Like just any of the floral Lego sets. Like I cannot wait to build this. I had it backwards, it's fine. I honestly, I can't believe that she got me this. I'm so excited to build this. Another really, really awesome gift that she got me that I was not expecting at all are a pair of Converse. I wear these like all the time, like every single outfit basically, I wear those. They're so comfortable, I love them. She got me a pair of, it's like the same style, but it's the more like elevated version. And they're like this burnt orange, like it might be more red on camera, but it's like a burnt orange color. They're so beautiful. Like I was not expecting this at all. Next, she got me this plant ornament. I think this is gonna look awesome on my tree. Next, she got me Squishmallow stickers. And 
I just think these are like so adorable. Okay, the last things from Bailey are makeup slash beauty items. So I'm gonna go through those. First thing she got me is the Tropic Glow Firming Whipped Shea Body Butter. It just smells so good. And then she also got me the Candy Cane Moisturizing Shave Oil. She got me the BTS collab with the Cram Shop, which is from Ulta, I believe, or maybe they sell it everywhere. But the first one is just the sheet mask, which I'm so excited to try. And then she got me two of the under eye patches, but obviously each one is like a different theme with each like character. From Fenty Beauty, the gloss balm cream, and this is in the shade Honey Waffles. I've tried their like gloss balm before and I really, really liked it. So I'm excited to try this, which I know it's a little bit different, but she got me the Makeup Revolution Creator Revolution Bleach Brow. And basically this is kind of like if you don't want to bleach your eyebrows it's like a cream that you can just apply over your eyebrows that makes it look like you bleached your eyebrows so i'm excited to like try this out because i have wanted to like test how that would look on me and then she kind of just threw in a bunch of samples um of like really nice products like first aid beauty which are really nice like little samples so that is everything i got for christmas 2022 um i am really grateful again for everything i got so apologies for getting it up late but like i said i was going through it hopefully y'all are still interested to see what i got hope you all had an amazing holiday season and you are just having a great new year and that is going to be all for this video so if you liked it please give it a big thumbs up and if you've never seen my face before subscribe down below to see when i make a new video Hope you guys are all having an amazing day, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.